Hi everybody and welcome to Wendy's Creative Corner. Today I have my new scrapbook room tour to share with you guys. I know it is long overdue but unfortunately life has gotten in the way a little bit. Um, so I'm getting around to do it today. So I'm going to give you a quick pan of my room, new room. Uh, primarily the desk from Ikea is the only new piece of furniture that I have in here as well as uh, the paint color has changed. You can refer back to my old scrapbook room tour to see what it looked like previously. It's not a very big room. It's only about nine by nine square. So I've had to make good use of the space and um, I guess that entailed being organized as well. So we'll start off with this wall here and this is just right beside the door. Um, I've got a tall uh, storage unit there and that's from Home Depot and it's actually a pantry for a kitchen um, but I've actually got, I'm not going to open it, I've got all my Cricut cartridges stored in there as well as um, some pictures and miscellaneous items so it's kind of maybe like a, my catch-all. Here I've got um, my clip it up and I've got um, you know all of my stamps, not all of them organized by brand. These are the cubicles from Michaels and as you can see here I've just got them I've got it separated by um, Halloween, Valentine's Day and new paper collections so that's what I have there. Uh, down below is just some miscellaneous cardstock from Stamping Up that I use for card making. I've got some vinyl there and then um, my glitter is down below this as well is from Michaels and I've got a lot of my embellishments in here at the top as well as my sprays um, I've got a lot of ribbon spools there on the side and again I've got these divided um, the top one is my Christmas paper the second one is chipboard and the third one um, is just miscellaneous paper packs from um, most of it is DCWV. So there I've just got uh, my magazines stored. Now behind my door I've got a shoe rack and here I house all of my stamping up punches. I used to have them hung on the wall but um, to me it was creating too many holes so I've bought this shoe rack and that works. So on this wall here, I've got the Making Memories Embellishment Center, which I house, um, again, some more sprays, my Tim Holtz Distress ink, some large background stamps, a um, few projects that were given to me, my Copic markers, and then some more ribbon. And then what I've done here, if you can see, um, and I really like this idea, is my stickles. I've got them Velcroed. Uh, to the bottom of my embellishment center and they just hang upside down so they're ready to um, to use. So at the top here I've just got a couple of baskets. One houses all of my thickers, the other one is again some miscellaneous stamps. The side here again I've got, um, this is a rack that I got from Michaels, it's a pegboard and I just, uh, I've got a lot of Heidi Swap here Studio Calico and some Prima hanging from there. And in these drawers here, again, nothing fancy. I've got my ribbon. I've got um, my adhesives, extra adhesives. Here I've got miscellaneous tools. And down below is where I have my 12 by 12 paper. Again at the top I've got my silhouette on the top and my Cricut Imagine. I will not get rid of my Cricut Imagine. Um, I spend a lot of money on this stuff and uh, I still find uses for it. So Now down below I've got again my photo paper, some chipboard and some um, 8.5 by 11 paper there. In this drawer here I've got all kinds of letters so stickers. Down below I've got more punches and again some more punches. Obviously I didn't have enough room in my shoe rack. And here's just uh, 
assortment of everything. This is my sew it all, this is some paints, my scoreboard, these are my mats. I've got some flowers, my paint, and here I've got my emboss embossing powders as well as chalk. And in these, um, I've got my Halloween embellishments in here. I've got my stamping up markers. I've got my Christmas embellishments. And in here, I've got extra ink. And I have troubles with that drawer. I bought it used. Uh, and at the top here, I've just got my docking station as well as my cheap printer, which works fine for me. I've got extra room here, but I do have some 12 by 12 uh, Tim Holtz paper packs. In here, this is just where I house all of my cords for my computers and Gypsy, so on and so forth. Again, I have troubles with these drawers as well. These are just all my large, big dies. I've got some trims down there, my envelopes, and then the last one I've got paint. So that is this wall here. Again, just a quick pan. There you go. Now, new to my uh, scrapbook room, and this is why I primarily made the changes, is um, I just had a regular desk in here, and I just found the storage wasn't really working for me. And uh, again, YouTube being as fabulous as it is, I know a lot of you have got this IKEA desk and I actually being from Canada and being where I do live, I'm not close to an Ikea, so I had to order it online, but I'm really happy that I did. So at the top here, I've just got all of some fabulous cards that all you ladies have made and some mini albums, projects. I've got my Stamping Up ink. And these black bins I had to purchase and I purchased them at our Zellers. It's probably Target for the my American friends. So in this one it just houses all my paper flowers. This one here again is just all kinds of embellishments. In here I've got all of my spell binders and dies. And this one here is just empty. Down below here I've got my paper trimmers, my glass cutting mat, here I've got all my bling, my washi, and some stickers and cuts from the um, Cricut. Moving over, I've got all my blocks, stamping blocks. Up on top, I've got my markers, some adhesives, some regular um, stuff I use on a regular basis, some pens and so on and so forth. Here is where I keep or how I store my wood veneers just in this bin like most of you have. Here I've got my Big Shot. Sorry it's a little dark. And there's just um, some really old embellishments that I have in that cabinet or that cubby. And down below, uh, it's nothing fancy. I put a lot of stuff that I don't really uh, need to access very much. But here I've got my um, my uh, six by six paper pads, as well as my sponges for my distress inks. And then you'll see the next two or next three are all of my scrapbooking albums. Down below I have my smash book projects. Um, and I've got everything in this bin here. And then again, the next two are photo albums for my scrapbooks. Not photo album, but scrapbooks. And then the last one is my stamping up um, uh, stamps that are wood mounted. Underneath my desk, I just have a bin that I've got to sort out. It's got all of my pictures in it. And then I also have this storage unit which uh, will pull out but fits perfectly under my desk and this houses all of my um, scrap paper and I've got it divided by color family. And then on the top of my desk I've just got my Making Memories black craft mat which I'm really happy about. I've got my Ot light 
And since I've changed the color in this craft room, I don't find I need to use that Ot light. It's much brighter, uh, which is nice. This is just a new purchase and I got it, I think for 12 bucks or something at Michael's. Um, so I don't really have anything filled there. And then again, I just have my Making Memories carousel that houses all of my um, tools that I use on a regular basis. And then at the top, I've just got some frames that I've got all of my puppies in there. So that essentially is my new scrapbooking room in a nutshell. Again, I'll just do another quick pan. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Um, unfortunately, I haven't had much time to work in this new space, but uh, hoping with the summer months um, around the corner that I'll be able to get back in here and uh, start creating a little bit. And I still have lots of room, um, you know, for growth should I need be. And quite honestly, I think I've got more than enough. I've got to start learning to use the stuff that I have instead of keep buying. So that is everything, ladies. I hope you enjoyed my new scrapbooking room tour. And until the next time, we'll see you later. Bye now.